As an artist, my job is to help people imagine. Imagining can mean making stuff up, but it can also mean seeing the potential in something and taking it someplace new. Recently, I presented such an idea before city council. Here in Charlottesville, we have this perpetually unfinished building, the Landmark Hotel. It's been standing there for over six years in this skeletal state, and despite the developer's repeated promises to resume working on it, I think we're all beginning to suspect that this building is never going to be a hotel. If the city eventually has to seize the landmark, then what to do with it? Now, there is a trend in architecture to design gardens and greenhouses for tall buildings in cities. Vertical farming is an idea that's catching on, thanks to advances in technology and the need to feed an ever-growing and increasingly urban population. So, I propose we turn the landmark into a vertical garden. Here's a concept painting I rendered of the idea. The idea of a vertical garden or farm is to grow food in the same place it's distributed and consumed. Hence, the ideal location for one is in the heart of a city, like the landmark. You grow crops on the upper levels and sell the produce in a market at the base. If it is enclosed like a greenhouse, you could grow crops there year-round. And like a greenhouse, the landmark gets direct sunlight throughout the day, as you can see by this time-lapse video. Grow lights could augment the sun on the interior of the building as well. And this is over the course of one day. Hydroponic and aeroponic growing systems even eliminate the need for soil and can be implemented on a large scale. These plants are actually rooted in pots filled with little clay balls and not dirt. The trays that they're in fill up with water several times a day, then drain, giving the plants the nutrients they need and using just a tiny fraction of the water traditional farming methods use. And it would be a living classroom for public schools, the University of Virginia, Piedmont. People would come from all over to study the thing or just have a look. The exterior of the building could be designed to be a habitat for birds, bees, and pollinating insects. Just imagine looking up at the thing and seeing a building covered with flowering plants and vines. Now, it all sounds fanciful, but there are people doing projects like this all over the world now, and I believe the idea has merit. The landmark building has got such potential if you use your imagination. Thank you.